In this video, we're going to create a sweep with a guide surface in Fusion 360. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video, we're going to talk about creating a swept body. In this case, it could be a solid or a surface, but we want to talk about using a guide surface and what that actually does for us. So if you want to follow along, you can go to the description of the video and download the data set swept surface here. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the surface sweep, which in this case is going to be the same as a solid. There's not really any difference there. So what we're going to do is we're going to select sweep and we're going to begin by using a profile and a path. In this case, we're going to select these three regions in the sketch. And then for our path, we're going to select the inside edge of this coil. Now you'll notice when this happens that the surface or solid, if you're using a solid, starts to twist around. Now we do have some options for things like parallel versus perpendicular, and we're gonna talk about the differences here. Now, if we use parallel, you'll notice that it keeps the profile parallel, but when it gets to the 180 degree position, we're essentially going through the solid body. If we were to hide the coil here, you can see exactly what's happening. So that's not exactly the ideal result. If we do perpendicular, we have this twist associated with it. Now we can have things like a twist angle, if we say 180 degrees, what that's gonna allow it to do is twist as it goes along the path. Since we have three coils here or three twists, we could add additional angles and likely get to a result that's okay, but this is obviously not the best way. So what we're gonna talk about is the path and guide rail and path and guide surface and what those do for us. So for the guide rail, we're going to bring back the original coil. And because our profile touches this bottom edge here, what we're going to do is we're going to use the edge of that coil as our guide rail. Now, once again, when we look at this, it does not look like the result that we want. This thing is twisting all over itself, and it's not really staying in an orientation that's ideal. We can change it to full extent or perpendicular to path. And once again, it really just doesn't give us the the goal that we're looking for. So the way that we fix this, whenever we have these complex sweeps that we need to go around something, is we use the option for path and a guide surface. Now the guide surface is gonna help control the tangency or the normal direction of our profile relative to that surface. So in this case, what we have is a coil shape that goes around a central axis. So in this case, what we do is we have a guide surface that's an extruded cylinder. Now this could be a solid body. The guide surface doesn't have to be a surface. It just needs to be a face. But what this allows us to do is it allows us to create these complex sweeps and drive the normal direction of the profile relative to the surface. Now, one thing you'll notice is that the guide rail and the guide surface don't necessarily have to be connected to the profile. And that's something that you don't get with things like a loft or if you're using a patch surface. Generally, you need those guides to be connected. The surface sweep is a little bit different and allows us to have a guide surface that's not touching. The end result of this is going to be potentially not ideal. So you'll notice that we have a lot of divisions here. Now, these divisions don't necessarily mean that you don't have a smooth curvature continuous or tangent end result, but it does break them up into these segments here. Now, that Again, that might be okay, depending on what you're doing. If you're trying to create something like a custom thread, it could be problematic because it's just not a smooth end result, but that is what the guide surface will do for you. And if you're trying to create a complex sweep, whether it's a solid or a surface body, oftentimes having that guide surface can be the solution to your problem. If you have any questions on this, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.